my dear students welcome to our online classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science jsi pu college mysore now in this session we'll discuss about the functioning of operating system students now you know what is operating system so what is operating system it is an interface between the it is interface between the user and the computer this is what you have learned in our previous session this operating system is a complex software and it has many components it has a many components so this many components they are memory management they are memory management and process management process process management device management and so on it is a complex software so it is not one software it consists of many components in it so if i say components it has many components like memory management it is a one component process management and device management so all together gives us a overall function overall functionality overall functionality of operating system and these uh, components which has its own function to do or it has its own responsibilities now let us discuss these components or function of operating systems one by one first function is memory management memory management so what is memory management it involves allocation of memory allocation of memory free memory free memory reallocate memory reallocate memory and keep track of keep track of memory see these are few functions involving in memory management component so what is the allocation of memory computer memory is a place where we can store uh, different types of information and data and so on so here if you want to store any information in computer computer has to allocate or it has to allot some space in the memory for the user so that is allocation of space or allocation of memory so what is free memory if some information is deleted from the our computer system or computer memory so that free space it has to be allocated for some other program or some other activity and reallocate memory suppose if the memory is utilized for some other programs so if that program is removed from the computer memory the same space it has to be reallocated for some other program that is reallocation of memory and next one is keep track of memory the computer system or it operating system it keeps monitoring your computer memory so at every point of time it says that so much of space used or utilized in the computer memory and and so many space so much of space is left it gives us the status at every point of time next we want another function that is process management another function of operating system is process management so what is a process here process is nothing but an instance of a program or the program which is running is nothing but one process for example if you open a file it is a one process if you close a file in computer that is one process shut down is one process it involves control access to shared resources like io devices memory devices and cpu this control the operating system 
control the access to these devices. Suppose I want to accept data from the input device. The process is controlled by this operating system. If I want to take a printout, that is output device. So again, that access permission has to be given by operating system. So this is nothing but controlling access to resources or shared resources like input and output devices even for memory devices if i want to save one or two files some files data in computer system this operating system should permit us to save save information in the computer memory so saving an information in the memory is a one process so that is also controlled by this operating system similarly controlling of execution of a program or a process so execution of the program is nothing but to run a process create execute and delete a process so any activity what is the meaning of creating a process i want to start a process print command is nothing but to it is nothing but an initiating a process or creating a process and with the help of operating system it execute we will get a computer printout that is the execution of the process and after taking a printout that process or that activity has to be stopped or it has to be removed from this system that has to be deleted that is that is the meaning of delete a process similarly cancel or resume process Here cancel means it cancel the process that is also a function of operating system similarly scheduling if you want to wake up in the morning so you have to keep alarm alarm is scheduling schedule any sort of task in computer system very simple example is suppose i want to shut down a computer so i can schedule this also so we can set a time so so on so time or at exactly 5 30 it has to be shut down those time can be set that is nothing but scheduling and that is also another function of operating system and again next one is synchronizing communication and deadlock handling so what is synchronizing here look at this small diagram here student here this i have given here this is resource one this is resource one if i talk about resources computer computer resource resources like input output devices or memory devices it may be a software can be so here this is one resource and here so many process so many process for example you take example this is a program 1 program 2 and program 3 and here you take example like process 1 resource 1 is your keyboard program 1 accepts the data from the keyboard at the same time program 2 also accepts the data from the keyboard even program 3 also accepts the data from the keyboard so here this is nothing but synchronizing here operating system will take care of this shared resources there won't be any problem for these programs to accept the data from this shared resource in this example keyboard communication is communication between this program as well as shared resources and deadlock handling very simple example i can give you is suppose if you are going for any transaction maybe online transaction or money transactions you may get one OTP that is one time password to your mobile isn't it so if you take in that example that OTP is available only for few minutes or maybe for few seconds so after that that OTP is invalid while sharing this uh, shared resources this computer or CPU allots some some time for each and every process while this program one sharing the resource one by these two by the time these two will be waiting for some more time similarly when program two is using utilizing this resource this program one program three will be waiting for its turn so that is the meaning of timing if that particular resource is not free for these two programs that condition is called deadlock handling so in that case so it is also it this these type of situation will be handled by or controlled by this operating system now next we move on to another function that is device management students next function of operating system is device management what is the device management here this is with respect to input device output devices and memory devices Whenever, if you want to make use of this input device 
or output device or memory device the process or procedure is like that first it has to be open I mean the particular device for example keyboard or a mouse or a printer first it has to open and we can write communicate write is nothing but communicate communicate to the devices then once the operation or the process once the process is completed the device has to be closed so that is the normal functioning of these devices first open a device is nothing but to keep the particular device ready for operation accepting the data from the keyboard is a process and that has to be executed by writing device drivers how it is possible through device drivers so what is a device driver device driver is device drivers is a interface between the computer as well as the program so here with the help of device drivers it communicate or it write to the devices or it communicate to the input devices so so that we can accept the data from the keyboard after that once the data has been accepted we have to close this input device for example keyboard or mouse so this is the process of device management device drivers it is an interface it consists of many commands or codes or commands for specific function or specific task communication between the program for execution as well as to the any of the devices it can be input device or output device or memory device controlling access to these devices similarly monitor devices this is about device management next we move on to another function that is file management next function of operating system is file management students so, you know what is a file in computer system it is the main building block of memory everything in the computer memory is stored in the form of file so it can be different types of file it may be your document ms word file ms x file or audio file or video file everything is in terms of or with reference to a file so what is a file so it consists of some different types of data and information so here what is file management first of all i want to create a file isn't it so i want to create a file i can delete a file so this is one of the activities of file management so here suppose i want to create ms word file so first i will open an ms application then i will write some information then save the file so this is creation of a file a file created can be deleted at any point of time that is delete in a computer system i can save our data in the form of file inside a folder or directory so this is one of the function of file management and second one is provide access to file if there is a file in the computer system suppose if i want to open it sometime we are not able to open particular file that is because of we access permission has not been provided to that particular file for particular user that is controlled by this file management similarly allocate space suppose if i want to save a file in the computer memory there must be enough space in the computer memory so that memory space has to be allotted to particular file that is allocation of space for file similarly keep backup file what is the meaning of backup students here there is backup is nothing but another copy of the information if any file is saved in the computer memory the another copy of the same file will be stored as a backup file that is your keep backup file and another one is secure so once the file has been saved or information has stored in the computer that has to be protected that has to be secure so that function is taken care of by this operating system next we move on to another function that is protection and security students next function of os is protection and security so this operating system it provide protection security to our computer resources here it can be hardware resources or software resources here it going to protect our hardware or software through authentication so authentication is nothing but by making use of username and authorization is nothing but using password so 
it is going to provide our resources with the help of authentication and authorization by means user can provide or will be given a username and password to access computer resources you are familiar with this isn't it similarly encryption what is encryption here encryption is nothing but conversion of the data into some other form so that other persons or other users cannot see the data given here password can be encrypted to protect your resources that is encryption next one is read write only whenever if i want to read a data that particular file has to be opened if i don't have the permission to open the file then i cannot read the data similarly i want to write the data or i want to edit some information in a particular file again i need a permission from particular user or through devices so these type of restrictions are nothing but a types of protection to our hardware as well as software next we move on to another function that is user interface students another function of os is user interface now we know what is an interface interface is nothing but a medium now we know os operating system is interface between user and the computer so here if i want to communicate with the computer they we must have an interface here there are two types of interfaces here one is cui and second one is gui so cui stands for character user interface or command user interface and gui stands for graphical user interface here because it is a character user interface so here user has to write the command through keyboard here with the help of keyboard the user has to type in the commands here the commands are in the form of characters alphabets so your commands may consist of alphabets or some special characters or some numbers so here in cui the user must type in the command or he has to type the command through keyboard at the command prompt we say it is c prompt or command prompt for execution of any command user must remember all types of commands for different types of function and not only that user must also know the syntax of the command or how to use the command and next one is in this cui under cui mouse operation is not available so we cannot make use of mouse as we are using mouse today mouse is not available for use so user has to use only keyboard for communication so this is command user interface now we look into that another type of interface that is gui graphical user interface here it is a gui stands for graphical user interface the graphical means nothing but in the form of icons or menus graphic interface it supports mouse so mouse operation is available here through mouse with the help of mouse here by clicking on different types of icon or menus in a particular software or operating system one can communicate with the computer and here as it is only in the form of icons or in the menus or some other dialog box and some etc so user need not remember any command here this is about user interface so friends let me summarize what you have learned today in this session i have explained you about different types of functions of operating system operating system interface it has many components each and every component has its own function to do so or to perform under this we have discussed different types of components or functions one is uh, file management and one is device management memory management process management and uh, protection and security and interface hope you have understood the concept i will meet you in my next session thank you very much